In this video, I'll go through a quick example of a parallel RLC, the resistances, uh, inductances, capacitances, and see how we can combine this, how we can find the, the equivalent of resistances, equivalent of inductances, and equivalent of capacitances, just to simplify the circuit. So let's assume we have an example like the one I'm showing to the right. So I have R1, R, uh, L1, C1, R2, L2, C1. And I want to go from this circuit here to, to this circuit, basically. Simplify it. And obviously, in other videos, you can, uh, we can go from this into finding the impedances of each component, you know, resistance, inductance, capacitance, and then basically finding the overall impedance of the circuit. But let's start with this basic video, just kind of show how you can combine resistances, inductances, and capacitances. So I have R1 is, just to keep uh, things simple, R1 is equal to R2. 100 ohms, L1 is equal to L2, 150 millihenry, C1 is equal to C2, which is 200 microfarad. So what is the equivalent RC? Basically, the components of this circuit here. So if I look at the original circuit, I notice that R1 is uh, in parallel with R2. So the equivalent, if you only have two resistances in parallel, their equivalent is the product of the resistances divided by their sum. So that's what I'm doing. So it's 50 ohms. Then the equivalent of the inductances that L1 and L2 in parallel is just the product of the inductances divided by their sum. So 75 millihenry when you, if you carry out the calculation. So resistances and inductances they behave kind of the same you know when they're in parallel or in series capacitances is kind of the opposite so capacitances in parallel they add up so it's this is important to remember and i would recommend watching videos that i did on how to how I, you know, the derivation of why capacitances in parallel kind of add up. But in this example, we're just going to apply this equation. But I would recommend watching the video that shows how we derive this equation. So C1 plus C2 to just 400 microfarads. So basically, resistance here is 50 ohms inductance is 70 manly henry and capacity is 400 microfarad so that was this was just a quick example uh, of how to combine you know resistances then inductances capacitances you know to simplify the circuit and as we'll see in future videos from here we can basically calculate the impedance the equivalent impedance and then the total impedance of the circuit to perform further calculations thank you and have a great day